Hey babes, it's Winnie Jean and today I wanted to come to you guys with a quick tutorial on this little hack that I found on dyeing a whole wig. And we're going to just get right into it. <laughs> so we're starting off with a deep wave wig. This is like 12 inches I believe. So what I needed to do was bleach this to a 27 color and I didn't want to have any like splotchiness. Sometimes the sections will start to process before you get to the next one and they will end up looking like this which is no bueno, it's splotchy. So with this technique, I got this gorgeous, consistent blonde color. And when you tone it, it came out perfect. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then keep watching. So I'm starting off with this little container I got for a dollar. And I just needed something that I can mix a big batch of bleach in. So I'm going in with some BW2 powder and I'm using quite a bit. I wanna say I use like six scoops because I really wanted to have enough bleach to truly saturate the hair easily without me having to manipulate it too much because I didn't want to have it all tangled, you know? So now I'm going in with some 30 volume developer and I'm going in because you want the texture of this particular mixture to be a little bit thinner than normal and that just allows for it to really blend throughout the strands um and give you a lot more you know slip when you're trying to maneuver it throughout the hair so i'm just going in and mixing it and mixing it and mixing it until it's a consistency that i felt comfortable with and as you can see it's a bit runny but not too runny it'll still be strong you know now i'm just gonna take my mixture and dip my wig into it and the way that i found that was easiest to get the color all the way through was just to twirl it around and really let it sop up all of that you know dye mixture and once it's in there i start to massage and kind of part it and get into all of the roots and the faster you do this the better because it'll start lifting really quick and as you can see towards the end of me trying to maneuver it through all of the strands, it had already started to lift. Once you have it all massaged into your liking and you feel like all of the bleach has been evenly dispersed throughout the hair, you want to just grab a big sheet of aluminum foil and cover up this container. And this is going to let a little bit of heat conduct and it'll speed up the bleaching process. I'm just checking it here and it wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. So I just gave it a little zhuzh and then put the top right back on it. You want to flip it halfway through as well and that'll make sure that both sides get a chance to sit in all of the excess bleach at the bottom because that may cause one side to bleach faster than the other. So it's been about 30 minutes and I'm just taking off the aluminum foil and it's perfect. After I tone it, this level of blonde is going to be perfect. This is the finished look. It's a super even colored wig. It's gorgeous. And as you can tell, the curl pattern wasn't disturbed because we didn't have to dye it a bunch of times to get, you know, all of the hair the same color. Um, so because we went in and dyed it one time, there's minimal damage and you can keep your curl pattern and still get the color that you want, even with curly hair. So this method is my new, new fave. I'll be doing it all the time when I have to really go in and dye an entire wig. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you like this one, these two will be right up your alley. So go ahead and click one of those. Like this video if you're enjoying my hair videos and make sure that you're subscribed because I have some real cool stuff coming. Bye guys. Love you.